Welcome back. We are closely monitoring Tropical Storm Cindy as it brings heavy rain and winds into East Texas. Chief Meteorologist Frank Billingsley has the latest track for you. Yep, yeah, we got some rain out there, that's for sure. And this generally is the effect of Cindy, which is back out here over water. So that continues to swirl there. It's going to be a while before it actually makes a landfall. In the meantime, it's bringing this rain across the area, Conroe to Livingston, back down toward Liberty. It looks a little more impressive than it is. Generally, a half an inch of rain, maybe an inch out toward Central Chambers County has been about it. In Houston, we've been lucky to find even a quarter of an inch. So it's been on the light side. Here's a look at the Doppler estimates, and you can see this light blue is a tenth of an inch to maybe a half an inch. An inch of rain, the green is one to two back out toward Beaumont. So some of you have had some fairly healthy downpours, but that's what we have right now. And we, we initialize this with the future cast track, and you got to admit, it doesn't do it very well, but it does put the rain it generally where it is, and then it wants to take it back out over water and swirl it back with that low once it finally Cindy makes landfall and takes it away. So that's pretty ambitious for that to happen, but that's what the future cast is showing. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. We are here all night long. Dominique. Okay, Frank, thank you. In the meantime, Channel 2's Brandon Walker is tracking this storm for us along I-10 near the Harris County Chambers County line. He's joining us now live. Brandon. Yeah, indeed, Dominique, we are here near FM 565, and as you can see live, it is raining, but as meteorologist Frank Billingsley just mentioned, nothing too significant here in East Harris County. Still, officials with the Harris County Office of Emergency Management are keeping an eye on rainfall here in the area. We are told that there are crews on standby watching to see what Cindy means for our area, particularly in eastern portions, closer to where the storm is slated to make landfall. We are expecting to see showers like this throughout the night, perhaps in intensifying as we get closer to Cindy making landfall points east of us. But as you can see now, it is raining. Officials are aware of this rain event as they are putting it. Crews on standby in the event that there are any reports of flooding or other emergencies here in the eastern part of Harris County. We're going to keep driving here along I-10 eastbound to follow this weather, follow the rain as it continues to make its way through our area and bring you more reports on air and online. We're live tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Brandon. And we move on to Channel 2's Sophia Beausoleil, who's tracking the storm for us in Galveston. Sophia, the last time we saw you, the wind and the rain had picked up. How are things now? Well, you know what else has picked up? The waves. It's too hard to see because it's so dark out here, but the waves have started crashing in. And when it comes to the rain, it is picked up. But like Brandon was talking about, it's going to be on and off throughout the night. So we'll be pay paying attention to that. And again, the biggest concern when it comes to Galveston is flooding, and especially with the high tide that's expected around 4 o'clock in the morning. Uh, folks with the police department, the city, the fire department, they're going to be monitoring this just in case they need to help people if flooding does occur. Reporting live from Galveston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Of course, we will continue to keep a close eye on the storm as it makes landfall, both on air and online for you at click2houston.com. Stay with us.